Hello everyone, welcome back to KNS English Hub. So we are continuing with the summaries of 8th class English and in today's video we shall deal with uh, unit 4 reading C, the computer game that is one act play. So before getting into the lesson, so those who still did not subscribe to my channel, please subscribe it so that you will get all the say, updates when I will upload next video and uh, you can find reading A and reading B videos links in my description right below your video so we shall quickly move to the text here without wasting any time yeah here we go so the computer game it is very 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 interesting text here so in this text we have few characters so here first character is gary lopez okay so he is a television game host okay so that is a game so that is a computer game so there uh, this guy gary lopez is a Post okay. Next, uh, there is another character John Robinson. Next, there is another character here MT2. It is a computer. Okay, so here the game is going to be between uh, this MT2, this is a computer, and John Robinson. This is a goal. Okay, so the computer game is going to be between these two candidates, John Robinson and Curl. And, between, and uh, another play over here is MD2. It is a computer, not a human being. Next, first noise maker, second noise maker, other characters. Next, a boy and a girl from the audience. So these are the characters we have. Okay. So seen here a television studio. So in that studio, this game is going on. Okay. So everybody is sitting tight, and, uh, and the game starts here. You can see before getting into the game. So on the right hand side. You can see computer placed okay so that is MT2 and uh, under the left hand here you can see this girl Robinson okay and the audience also are here so this man uh, is the host okay so here this is a competition between a computer and a girl okay let us see how it is going to be okay so Gary Lopez let me zoom in yes okay Gary Lopez. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, uh, welcome to the computer game. Today, another human player gets a chance to match wits with our very own computer, our very own computer, MT2. So here, uh, this competition is usually go on. So, uh, human in the sense here, John Robinson is going to get a chance to compete with the computer MT2. So when he announces MT2, MT2 blinks its lights and the studio audience claps loudly. Okay, so just like uh, Transformers, have you watched? So in that whenever they announce that name, so they just simply give some moments like this. Okay, next, Gary Lopez. Today, uh, today's player is John Robinson from the Oak Street School. Feeling smart, John? John, ready. Okay, so John is ready and MG2 is also ready. So let us see what is the game. Yeah, Gary Lopez. I hope so. May I remind you that no one has beaten MG2 yet. Okay, so first point here we mentioned is till now no one has defeated MG2. Now here is how we play the game. Okay, so I will ask a question. Uh, the first player to sound a noise maker and give the correct answer scores one point. The first player to earn three points means the game. Ready, players? So the rules of the so you ask few questions. Okay. So whoever knows the answer, so they have to make the noise. Okay. What is that is available uh, or kept in front of them? So that player gives the answer. So whoever gives three answers, okay, correctly, first, so that is the winner. Okay. So that player is the winner. So John here is ready. MT2 in a flat wise flat wise in the sense here computer you can just imagine as a robot okay so robot in a flat wise I'm prepared to play okay like that so Gary Lopez first question how much is 62,415 times 78,921 okay first noise maker B MT2 the correct answer is okay so 4925 854215. So MT2 has given the answer here. Okay, fine. So Gary Lopez. 
write one point for the computer so computer has given answer for the first question so the uh, phone point is for computer so the audience claps politely next question listen carefully what date in history did the pro did the uh, pilgrims land at Plymouth Rock second noise maker buzz okay so John 1620 okay so here John has given answer here okay so let us see whether it is correct or not Gary Lofis I am sorry that's not an exact enough answer okay so Gary Lofis said okay fine you have mentioned the year but that is not a the, the exact enough answer so first noise maker B empty two a pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock on December 21st of the year 1620 okay so Gary Lofes right two points for the computer if mg2 answers the next question correctly it's all over John okay so when John has given just half of the answer uh, the host said oh no 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 John that is not the complete answer we need so when that was the reply from him mg2 has given the answer immediately and now two points for computer and zero points for John okay so and also host mentioned that if another point is going to be won by MD2 then John you are lost okay so boy in audience come on John girl in audience you can beat the talking tin can okay so they are very much angry in the audience uh, they want to defeat this, this computer so Gary Lopez quiet please and here is a third question John wait Gary Lopez what's the matter John could someone else ask the question please Gary Lopez, what for? John, maybe I will have better luck with someone else. Girl, coming up on stage, I will ask it, John. So, John, you spring to her, put it in the form of a command. Okay, put it in the form of a command. I think the computers only programmed for questions. Okay, so now uh, John has a little trick in her mind. So, John, um, before going to the third question, John said to the host, please please uh, wait uh, can someone else ask me the question so when this host asked why was the matter so this girl replied so I might have uh, some good luck with the uh, other uh, person who is asking questions so one girl from the audience got up and she wanted to ask so when she was about to come to the place and ask the question uh, John said to that girl see don't um, put that in a type of question form just put it like a form of command so instead of asking what is your name you just uh, put it as what is your name okay so instead of a uh, question mark you just put it as a command just like a full stop okay so she's thinking that computers are programmed only for the question marks okay so girl looking at the question spell the word uh, chrysanthemum okay so first noise maker b okay so mg2 so Chrysanthemum is smell is spelled is spelled okay girl yes empty two I do not follow the question please repeat the programmed form so second noise maker buzz so immediately as soon as the girl has to smell spell this word difficult word the empty two the computer has immediately spelled the same word which the girl has spelled and the uh, girl said is it correct okay yes in a sense is it correct so mt2 has again started saying i do not follow the question i didn't i didn't understand the question please repeat the question again so second noise maker buzz john uh chrysanthemum so c h r y s a n t h e m u m so girl right one point for john boy hoorah okay mt2 slowing down i am mt2 computer i am mt2 i am empty empty m t so gary left is the computer is breaking down boy then John's the winner suddenly mt2's lights uh, begin flashing widely smoke pours out of its top okay so uh, this is the first time mt2 has lost a question okay so when the same uh, when uh, this John has clicked on the buzzer and she answered the question like spelling all the let all the word all the letters that are there in the word so the girl said yes that is the correct answer and this is the first time that computer is losing the game and when it lost the game uh, it felt as an insult for itself 
and it starts you know dismantling itself okay it started destroying itself okay so because of that started telling i am empty to computer i am empty to so one by word one by word all the words are just uh, putting down finally and even smoke also started to come out of the computer so gary lofes look what you have done it's blown a fuse john now that's what i call a poor loser so john has finally won this match against the computer and said um, that computer is a poor loser so this is written by steven orfinowski so uh, the thing that we should look in this text is that though the computers are uh, you know very much programmed well with a lot of intelligence and with a lot of information and all sometimes if the programmed language is not properly given to the computer or to any other machine or robot so uh, that might not well or work properly okay so the whole we can the whole text we can even say in a single sentence saying that though the technology is so much advanced it is always a loser in front of the human brain okay it is not greater than the human human brain where human has you know more and much talent or ideology than the any other mission in the world okay so don't just simply believe or befriend or make bff a mission okay so that's a nice one uh, till now yeah fine in the next video of ours we shall go with unit 5 that is ex education and career so yeah here unit 4 reading a and reading b also will be given in the de description do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will get the updates of the next units so when i upload the new videos and those who want to go through unit 1 2 3 and the other readings of unit 4 you can just simply go to my playlist in my channel and you'll find all the videos in eighth class english playlist okay so see you all in the next video until then god bless you take care